On today's Retro Spot, we're going to have a look at the McFarlane Toys, J. Scott Campbell's Danger Girl figures. We're going to be looking today at Sydney Savage. I've already reviewed the Natali Castle. I've already reviewed the Abbey Chase. Depending on when I did I upload these, hopefully I upload them in the same order. Uh, but through <laughs> through both videos, I, I kept referring to them as Sydney Savage. So it must have been fate. Uh, I apparently really wanted to review Sydney Savage, so we're going to be having a look at her now. Uh, at the top, we've got a very nice picture of Sydney Savage. There's just something about J. Scott Campbell's. Uh, way that he draws women. It just looks really, really nice. Um, certainly there's lots of accessories. We'll get those all put together when the package gets opened up here. Um, on the back, we'll turn this sideways. Va -va -va -voom. We've got ourselves Sydney Savage here, sporting her whip. The other figures you can get in this line, we've got Natalia Castle, Abby Chase, and we've got Major Maxim. The read-up it's a very nice picture of Sydney Savage as well down here. Uh, name, Sydney Savage, affiliation, Danger Girl, special, specialty, I don't know why I keep having a tough time with specialty, surveillance, sniper, secondary, helicopter pilot, uh, CQC, close quarters combat, birthplace, Sydney, Australia. The read-up says, Sydney Savage, a striking, sassy, and vivacious component of the Danger Girls. Uh, originates fittingly from the picturesque and lively continent of Australia. Though often reprimanded for her wild and unorthodox procedures, Sydney uh, more than not just uh, more often than not justifies her lawless techniques. Uh, of all the danger girls, Sydney takes the most advantage of her good looks, deploying her curvaceous form to distract and defeat the girl's primary male antagonist. Though the Danger Girls have immediate access to radically advanced combat weapons, Sydney frequently warms up to her trusty leather bullwhip. Ow. When in need of a weapon with longer range, Sydney uh, lofts her custom Beretta FS-17 9mm pistol and Stair Aug, uh, Aug Automatic Rifle. Uh, Sydney is also qualified with an M24 sniper weapon system, a rifle system, which boasts an impressive 1,000 meter range. Wow. So what a read-up. What a read-up for, for what a woman, Sydney Savage. So what we're going to do, is we're going to get this package open up, and we will have ourselves a better look at Sydney Savage. Stay tuned, guys. There is more on the way. All right, so we've got Sydney Savage out of package. There are actually two ways you can have the dis the figure displayed if you want. Um, on its own, you've got yourself a sandy, uh, I guess, sandy floor, sandy ground, and you've got the the old wooden posts, and then at the top of one of the posts, you've got yourself a very cute koala. You could have the figure just standing on that as is if you if you want, and it would be certainly fine. Um, there is also a secondary piece that comes with a a alligator or a crocodile, I guess. I guess would be an alligator um, on on a, on a board, and then on the board it has the actual Sydney Savage name and the Danger Girl uh, logo. Uh, there is a couple of pegs on the alligator, and you can just take the alligator and peg it, him into place, and then you've got yourself a much beefier display stand. You can have it both ways. I I probably would have it this way just because the name is on the front. And it goes fittingly with the uh, the other Danger Girl figures on their stands. Speaking of stand, speaking of stand, Sydney Savage is the only Danger Girl that can't stand. Unless you you're lucky enough to get her just to stand right. The problem is she's got a pre-posed leg, and she doesn't really want to stand. So we'll put her on our display stand in a second. Maybe what we'll do first is we will zoom in. And we'll have a look at the figure's face. A very cute face on Sydney Savage here. 
sculpt is, as always, is very, very nice. I might actually like this one a little bit more than the N Natalia Castle. The Abbey Chase, I, th I still think the, the skin is still a little too yellow. But uh, the face on Sydney Savage here is very, very nice. Of course, she's sporting a leather outfit. Kind of looks like the Baroness, I guess, in some ways. Nice sculpt on the hair and uh, everything else. Everything else. You know what I'm talking about. Um, she has one accessory. She comes with a whip. And we can put the whip into her hand here. Now, I tried earlier with this. And I find that the whip doesn't stay in the hand very well at all. Um, you wedge it in there and it holds, but it just doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's necessarily the greatest of, uh, it doesn't feel like it necessarily sits in there as well as it should. But you can have her holding her whip. Which, which, um, if you prefer not to have her holding the whip, you can also have the whip uh, put into a little loop that sits on her belt. Like so. I guess maybe it would probably make more sense if you... And there we go. Something along those lines. It's not the greatest, but you know, for, this, for the sake of this reveal, I'll just, you can have it holding, uh, you can have it probably a little nicer than that, but... There you go. I probably will just keep it in her hand. I don't know, it depends. I guess it depends on what mood I'm currently in. Do I want her with a whip in her hand? I don't know, maybe. In the way of Sydney Savage's articulation, we'll just take this off for a second. She has a uh, mild articulation in the head, which is slightly hindered by the fact that she's got this high collar and the hair kind of gets in the way. Um, she has articulation in the waist. She has articulation in the arms. You can rotate her hands. She has articulation in the legs, but she can't really do much just because of the way she's uh, posed. Um, although, I think it kind of looks nice to have her uh, her feet kind of forward like that. Kind of makes her look a little more, more sultry. Um, let's see if we can actually peg her into place with the leg bent like that. There we go. No? Maybe we'll have to do it the other way. I find Sydney Savage, of all the Danger Girl figures, is the one that's the hardest to get on her display stand too, uh, just because of the way that the holes are placed on her feet. Is it going to stand? No. Yes? No. Let's see if we can get it in the display stand. There we go. The koala also doesn't sit very well. He tends to fall off his post a lot. But there you have yourself, pardon my finger, there you have yourself. Sydney Savage looking very nice on her display stand. Drunk koala keeps falling. Get up there, Mr. Koala. Overall, I like the figure. I think it suffers a bit from the fact that it's pre-posed in the legs and it doesn't really stand. To get it in the display stand too is a bit of a pain in the you-know-where. And this blasted koala, by the way, I'll show you the koala. He's eating, I guess, some eucalyptus. But he doesn't really sit in there very well. He, he's supposed to peg into place, but he keeps kind of falling. Overall, I still like the sculpt of the figure. The figure could have been better, but I still like the face on her. I'm going to give Sydney Savage here a... going to give her 6.5. A very, very nice figure still, despite the fact it has some flaws. Today's retro spot, we were having a look at the McFarlane Toys, J. Scott Campbell, Danger Girl. And we're looking today at the girl with the whip. Whoosh, we're looking at Sydney Savage. I thank you guys for watching, and uh, be sure to stick around for more retro spots and other spots to come. There is more on the way, guys, so much more. So be sure to stick around for those new videos, and I will see you guys next time.